I love like how it looks like um black people hair. Like it looks like my own hair. I'm showing you a close-up so you have a really good understanding of the, you know, the texture of the hair and the quality of the hair. Now, as you can see, I only did half my hair, my head. I'm not done yet. This is the other side that I have to do. I started working at the bottom, but it's not, obviously you can see it's not done yet. Considering that I've been talking about issues with the back bundle, I wanted to make sure I really got it good. I'm experimenting still. I don't plan on keeping this bundle when I do redo my next install. Because it got drastically thinner at the bottom. I'm even contemplating um, uh, trimming it, the back down for the remainder of this install. Alright, this is the DY hair, like the last bundle, the 18 inch, right after I took it out. As you can see, I just took it out right now. Why the thread's still in there. And as you can see, this time I went under and not through it, just to see if it'd make a difference. But I feel like the damage is already done from like the first install that I did where I went through the weft. Now, as you can see, it's like matted up into a ball. And this is what was behind my neck this whole time. Like, look at this. Like, come on, really? I 
I detangle it and the same thing would happen right again. And it carries over, like look at this. You don't see me try to pull it away. Yeah, as you can see, it's stuck. <laughs> Even if I put conditioner, like, yeah, I'll put conditioner here and I'll, like, detang detangle it out. And I'll lose so much hair. It's so much thinner, as you can see. Like, look at that. As you can see, these two are matted in together. And if you look at the ends, like the strands of it, I'll zoom out so you can see it better. What you can see is that it's not as thick as it used to be. Like, look at that. If I um comb that out, how thick is this bundle? This is supposed to be 18 inch right now. I understand that you have to like pull the hair to make sure you have the right length, but look, I have a ruler, a standard 12 inch ruler. I'm putting it right here at the weft. And if I pull, it doesn't go that much further. Like, all right, so you can see it right there. We, we all know it was not 18 inch. Like I'd be lying if I said that was 18 whether I pull it or not. But I'm just going to go closer so you can see it. Here's a ruler and I'll put it right here. This bundle is the 16 inch and this is from 0 to 12. You can see that I have a good portion of it. And this seems really similar to the other hair that I showed you, the bad hair, where that one looked like a 16 inch too. And on my head they both look like it together. Alright, this is one of the two bundles that I am keeping by DY Hair. And as you can see, it's pretty full for the most part. It's nearly true to length. Like, over here might look a bit shorter. Yeah, so over here might look a little bit shorter in comparison to this side over here. But it's not as bad as like the, the other bundle that I just showed you right now. And I'll briefly show you what the hair looks like near the weft. So you can see that it's still um, pretty thick. As you can see already, it's thick from weft to tip. Unlike the other hair where it'd be really um, thick over here, the 18 inch. And it drastically get thin right about here. See, it seems pretty good. This will be my third install with it, too. So 
So because I was able to take good care of it, of all the hair, all the bundles, well, two out of three, it still looks pretty good. Like, it looks really nice. But what I plan on doing right now is I'm going to steal the weft so that I can make sure I don't lose any more hair than I've already lost. And I'm going to be using these two products that I got from Walmart. A lot of people know about Fray Block. And I'll be using that first to seal the weft. But because I don't trust it, or not that I don't trust it, but I want to make sure and double and triple check that I don't lose any more strands. Then, because obviously this is all money. And I don't want to waste my money. I'm going to be going back in and sealing the fray block and the weft with super glue. It'll be my first time doing it, and I'm not sure if other people have done it before. So I'm going to be very careful when doing this. <laughs> 